Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of Dragon Age Origins. We are, I think, pretty much done with the main story, I think. There's a ton of different um, uh, things we have still left to do in terms of side missions, um, including some companion-based stuff. But um, as far as the main story goes, I believe... Uh, Premium content? Ancient history. Learn more about the histories of Soldier's Peak. Oh, I obviously didn't do that. Um, Blight. The Arl of Redcliffe. Speak to Arl Eamon when you are ready to leave for Denerim. Return to Arl Eamon and prepare to head to the lands meet. Um, I, I want to level up like five, six more times before I want to do that. Uh, also, we did lose... A team member. Another victory for the regent at Larkus Valley, so everyone is saying. Yes. That just about settles it then, doesn't it? Right. The queen will have the so, what we definitely want to do is, um, we're going to head back to camp, because I've got the mod on that allows me to have the dog as an additional companion, but because we lost Shale, it's now come into a, be an actual companion, which is fine, which is fine, I don't mind that, but I suck at this game and need an extra person. So we're going to do just that. Right. Okay, yes, let's let's be Percy. And we'll run to camp. Um uh, we just lost Shale. Obviously. So I mean, I kinda wanna have Zevran back on the team, but Ogren's not necessarily a tanky warrior. He's more of a damage dealer. Oh, I forgot half the people who were naked. <laughs> Hi guys, you, you've been having fun without me. Um, right, we're gonna have to change things around again. I do like Ogren. Oh, actually, we can speak to Ogren now, can't we? Because we never used to be able to speak to him. Hello. There you are. Wanted to talk to you. Good. I can't tell if you're happy or sad. Please take the helmet off. What about you and I? We've you know how sometimes you spend time with people and things. Hmm. I'm interested. I love you too, Ogren. I, uh, what? Keep your hands where I can see them. <laughs> uh, sheesh. Can a man address a friend without getting all weird? I was no. just asking a favor. You had to go all that on me. <laughs> All right, go on. What's the favor? I was thinking, uh, I do know some people out here on the surface. A person, actually. A girl I knew in Orzammar before I left, obviously. Uh, ah, a girl you knew or a girl you knew? What? Oh, you mean were we rutting? <laughs> oh, I. After Bronca left for the deep roads. Name's Felsey. She was a fiery one. Rutting. I'm sure she's forgiven me by now. Thought maybe I'd track her down. See how she's been living. Um. Okay. Uh. Do you know how to find her? I tried to look her up the last time we were at Lake Kalanhod. She wasn't at work at the inn. At home with her sick mother, they said. I figured it was just the ancestors telling me something. But I keep thinking about her. Okay. Um, yeah, we can go back. Let's go. Well, and a good friend you are, Warden. I'll think about you if we ever... Uh, no, actually, that would be gross. No, uh, Thank you. What was it you wanted to say? <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, can you teach me how to fight like you do? You want to be a berserker? <laughs> Thought I'd never see the day. You're a monster on the field already, Warden. But your style just doesn't give itself to mad rage. Too much thinking, too much, uh, what you call it, uh, finesse. But if you know someone fit for this type of work, I'll teach him. It'll be nice to have another berserker to grunt at for a change. Okay, um, well, tell me more about them. What the sod is there to know? You get mad, you fly into battle, and things die. That's fair. It's pretty simple. The hard part is getting in touch with your rage. We all learn to hold that back. It's why we don't kill every duster who looks at us sideways. You need to shut that off. For some people, being in battle is enough. 
But others have to think about something. Violence, monsters, nobles, your wife, whatever. <laughs> wife. I definitely just think about the I definitely think about the ex-wife. <laughs> I especially my wife. Um why would you want to fight that way? Well, I kind of understand that, but why do you want to fight that way? Why not? When you fight, you get mad. By the stone, it's a sodding tactic to enrage your enemy so he makes a mistake, right? Berserkers grab that anger and drink it like it's yesterday's ale. <laughs> then we turn it against our foes and watch the limbs fly. I mean, that is a good way to be. I mean, as a barbarian in D&D, I can, I can definitely attest to uh, barbarian rage being a hell of a thing. Um, just getting angry thoughts makes it happen. Well, for most berserkers, it does. Several years ago, I worked with a berserker on one expedition. Just couldn't work himself up. We had to kick him in the stones before he could get going. Okay, performance issues. Maybe there's like a little blue pill you can take to help you with your... um. Not being able to work into a rage. Uh, let's talk about something else. I'm listening. I'd like to know more about you. What about? Oh, wow. Uh, are you sure you're fine with what happened to Branka? Oh, sure. I'm fine with it. I mean, she was a real firebrand between the sheets. But a bit soft in the skull, you know what I mean? Explains why she left, anyway. Uh, I mean, like what? Branka? <laughs> that treasure's been long buried. Ancestors, take me. You people whine like tea kettles around here. New quest, Olgren's Old Flame. Come to talk to old Ogren, have you? Don't know why. Well, neither do I. Uh, what's wrong, Ogren? Nothing. I'm fine. Just, uh, I got a hornet in my eye is all. Did you want to talk about something? I'd like to know more about you. What about... Uh, how'd you like the surface? It's sodding great. <laughs> At first I was a little queasy with all that air, but there's just so much of it. No one has any idea who you are or what you're doing. And the ale, well, who'd have thought? Ale made with grain. <laughs> Aye, the surface is great. It's like a big, bright world of filth without a ceiling. <laughs> My kind of place. <laughs> hey. Let's go find something to kill, huh? All this talk makes my hands twitchy. That's fair. That's very fair. What do you guys make ale out of if you don't use grain? Right, anyway. Um, Ogren, it's time for you to take off all of Alistair's clothes. You've stretched them. Um, taking literally everything from him. You can keep the axe. Uh... Uh, what am I doing? Uh, right. Alistair. Uh, you can have all your stuff back. Lovely. Got your sword, Duncan's sword. A bulwark of the true king. Better than rock shield, isn't it? Yeah. And then Zev... Well, now I've got to take my stuff off because I had a whole load of... Uh, uh, I'm going to be severely weakened here. So the felon's coat is much stronger. Plus two strength, plus two dex. Oh, it's so much better. I don't want to share my things with, with Zev, Ryan, but I have to. Okay, let's take that off. Let's put on... Shadow of the blah blah blah, which just looks so boring. Pushback striders, they're the gloves. Rapid aim, plus one armor penetration, I should definitely keep that. So, Zevran. Get that. That. Uh, needs his helmet. I currently have plus two to all attributes. Uh, the armor's not actually as needed for me because uh, he's going to be more frontline. And we've got the edge and Duncan's dagger. In fact, actually, let's swap them around because I feel like Duncan's dagger is much better. Duncan's dagger and the edge can go there. There we go. Perfect. And... 
Fallon Din's Reach is the bow, which we don't really need. Because I've got this guy, Mage's Eye. Right. So I think that's pretty much it. Um, you call? Yep, yeah, I don't think anyone's got anything else to say. So, let us now go to... Well, first of all, uh, we're going to have Alistair, yes. Zevran, yes. Win. Braska. What? No. Yes. Yes. And Win. Uh, and then hopefully the dog comes along properly. Right. Now, let's go to Lake... Ca oh, we don't have bloody uh, Ogrim with us. Let's go to the circle down. Because I think we... Ooh. Hello. Oh, hello. Kill the Herlocks. Murder them. Oh, that's a big one. Okay. Go, Bear Man. Grapple. Grapple the big man. Oh, he's picked someone up. I don't think it's one of ours. It's fine. Hey! Good night. Okay. I'm the general. I don't get my hands dirty. There we go. That's how we do things here. Ogres. So easy now. Get some elf fruit. See, I'm I'm getting cocky. I'm getting cocky. I mean, we had a couple of tough bits in the in the underdark, but uh, it shall be done. Getting cocky. I feel like we're doing pretty well. Just realised we are quite far into this game, and I still don't know where Fergus is. I feel like I should be looking for him a little bit more. Uh, right, let's level up these guys. Uh, let's just put everything into con for him now. Um, he is a Templar. Plus two willpower, plus one cunning. It's they're strange, um, strange pluses for a warrior. Plus two strength, plus ten health. Alistair, you are now a Templar Berserker. I don't even know if that's law-wise possible. But we have the grace and harmony within. With unbridled rage! We have Berserk, uh, Templar, Holy Smite. Sword and Shield, Assault. Okay, let's... Uh... The stench of blood and death drives the Berserker into a willing fury, provi uh, providing a bonus to damage. Rages incur a penalty to stamina regen. Um, resilience adds a bonus to health regen in this mode. So it's pretty good. Let's... Do we get pass passives? Resilience. The Berserker can now focus the power of rage more efficiently, gaining a bonus to health regen while Berserk is active. Final blow. Constraint. Reducing stamina. Okay, so yeah, let's get that. And then we won't put it on his hotbar thing. But we will... Um... Oh, shit, we had two. Uh, yeah, we will wait to get all of these. And then we'll put it on his hotbar. Zevran. You do need some more con as well. Uh, Feast of the Fallen. The assassin thrives on the moment of death. Stamina is partially restored whenever the assassin fells an opponent with a backstab. Nice. Uh, actually, I think the uh, pre-natural ability to sense and avoid danger, this talent grants a 1 in 5 chance of evading physical attacks. I think that's... He's front lines. We need to build up his con and his... Um, his con, his dex, and just his ability to dodge like a rogue. So he's going to get hit by some things, like fireball, so we need him to have more hit points, but at the same time... Um, his main uh, his main damage reduction tactic, if you will, is just to not get hit. Uh, right. First Enchanter Irving. Welcome back, friend. You'll be glad to learn that the circle is well on its way to recovery. Yes. Um, 
Dagna of Orzammar wishes to study magic. Orzammar, indeed. <laughs> you have piqued my curiosity. It is common knowledge that dwarves lack the aptitude for spellcraft. She will never be able to weave the simplest magic, no matter how hard she tries. I don't think she minds, but she does want to learn. No, she is aware of this, but her interest has not waned. Fascinating. <laughs> I suppose the circle should be flattered. I'm so I'm sure actually there's um there's probably some use to dwarves at least trying. Um they use lyrium, mages use lyrium to power themselves up and they can't really touch it. So having a dwarf here to actually be able to hold the lyrium, maybe there's tests you can do. Maybe we'll make a dwarven mage. Um, she's dreamed about this all her life. Don't disappoint her. I cannot deny anyone, dwarf or human, the chance to learn. Knowledge should not be withheld from those who seek it. Tell Dagna of Orzimar that this path will not be easy. But if she chooses it, and she is welcome here at the Circle. She will live and study with the Tranquil, and perhaps the Apprentices, when it is appropriate. Okay. That's not a punishment, is it? Like, studying with the Tranquil and perhaps the apprentice Apprentices. Well, no, no, I guess she, they can't be, she can't be in the class, because it'll be like, right, when Guardian Leviosa, and she'll just be like, I'm a dwarf, I can't do that, but I can study. I can study with books. Uh, thank you, First Enchanter. She is going to be so overjoyed. Ah, if only the circle was in better shape. I fear she may be disappointed when <laughs> she arrives. Three days in, she'll want to go back. Uh, you'll have an extra pair of hands to help rebuild. This will be interesting. <laughs> she could tell us much about our dwarven neighbours. Yes... The more I think about it, the more I like the idea. I shall take this as an indication that perhaps things are starting to look up for the circle. <laughs> Thank you. No worries. Um, is there anything else I can do for you? You've already done much for the circle. True. Now you must see to your duty as a Grey Warden. No worries. I wish you well. No, you will always be welcome here. Thank you, and you couldn't possibly talk slow. Um, I've just realised, like, this could be the first... Um, the first ever magic circle that has dwarven architecture. You really killed all those abominations? Yep. I didn't think it was possible. I thought we'd all die here. I'm sure you need supplies after that, don't you? Yes, uh, with, a, uh, with a discount. Please. We've got 131 gold. Like, we should be able to buy pretty much anything. Um, the injury kits are definitely what I want to buy. Uh, health poultice. Three health poultices. Can never have too many of them. Lyrium potion. Great speed. Boom. Glamour charm. Tome of Arcane Technique. Um, it's all pretty simple stuff. Oh, that's not. 128 gold. Uh, gold. Staff of the Magister Lord. Right, go on, let's compare it to what Wynn's got. Wynn's got Winter's Breath. They're both tier 7. Winter's Breath gives cold resistance, extra cold damage, and she radiates cold. <laughs> so she's just cold all the time. Plus 6 willpower, plus 2 mana regeneration, plus 6 spell power, 10% fire damage, 10% spirit damage. Uh, it's so good. It's so good. We have a... We, <laughs> I can buy it. It's 128 gold, 88 silver, and I would be left with 8 silver. <laughs> Mmm, it's tempting. And 106 for a belt. Plus two to all attributes. 20% nature resistance, one mana regen in combat, one stamina regen in combat, plus 10 physical resistance. I mean, it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Well, I just don't have... 
Okay, I'm, I'm assuming they're gonna stay there. You really killed. All yes, I did. I'm sure, you need supplies after that. Yep. Hurry up. Right. I'm sure they're gonna stay there. So, bloodline. Uh, we don't need that. Don't need that. Uh, arrows, arrows, arrows. I need them for the end. Ruck shield. I'm so sorry, Ruck. But goodbye. Um. I mean, this this is silver. This is nothing, really, is it? Um, the main stuff I'm going to get is by doing missions. But we aren't... We haven't got any story missions left. Oh, hang on. What, who is this dude? Do you want anything? My men have scouted the tower. It's a mess, but the abominations are gone. Good. You are very thorough. I'm impressed. Thank you. Um... Circle will be back to normal in no time. In no time? Hmm. Doubtful. But it doesn't hurt to be optimistic sometimes. I shan't keep you then. Farewell. Oh, all right. I was going to ask for some more money, but okay. Very well. Okay, like, how do you make money here? <laughs> uh... I mean, we got Dagna. Right, let's go to... Uh... Did I want to do that? Is that... I want to be in Orzammar. I don't want to be outside again. We're in Orzammar, right. Dagna. Where the hell is a Dagna? Dagna. Is there any chance, like, you'll pay me 90 gold for this? Hello. How can I... <gasps> it's you. <gasps> and it's been, well, quite a while. Yeah, has Enough actually... time to get to the circle and back, I hope. Yep. Oh, please tell me what they said. First Enchanter Irving accepted you for study. Ancestors, bless you. I can't believe it. There hasn't even been a Dwarven Observer in the Circle since you're Relvin in the 13th century. Uh, I, I, I need to pack. No, my parents would get suspicious. I need to go. Is there anything I should bring? Books? Tuition? Um... A little token of your gratitude would be nice. I'm not saying give him, give them your stuff, but like coming there with a gift. It's like going to a dinner party with a bottle of wine. It's just kind of the done thing. Of course, a reward. I was just bringing some lyrium in from the storeroom. Will that do? I have either a lyrium rune that can be implanted in any weapon, or some of the serum mages use. Which do you want? Oh, it was for me. Oh crap! <laughs> I d I d wasn't asking for a gift for myself. I was asking for the, like, to bring a gift for them. Um, yeah, sod it. I'll take the rune, please. Here you go. I hope it's enough to thank you. I'll never forget what you did. Yeah. If you ever go to the circle again, maybe I'll see you there. Oh, I need cash first. Uh, okay, cool, 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 cool. Right. How much does that s s sell for? <laughs> Keep looking for the thief. Past it, uh, we may as well do that actually, seeing as we're pretty much at the proving grounds now. We've got basically, I want to do a, one of these missions and see how much money I get. Oh, hello. You have not asked me about my conscience for some time, my darling Wynn. That is correct, and I am not your darling. <sighs> so once again, I am rejected, just as I am by the cruel, cruel fates. They are harsh mistresses to the elves. Severin. I am old enough to be your grandmother. You say that like it's a bad thing. <laughs> and what would you do with me if you had me? Hmm? This is a game you play, nothing more. Ah, you are a cynical woman, Wim. Cynical and powerful. It drives me mad with desire. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. I am going to walk away now. <laughs> Balen fanatics, are you? Uh, okay. Right, like he's dead, isn't he? Just embarrassing yourself, guys. I mean, who's this dude's just standing there? I don't see anything. Shield. Back. I mean, we're looking good. We're looking good. It is begun. 
I should probably ask um, Zevran if this is like a polyamorous thing or not, because he's hitting on Wynn right in front of me. <laughs> like, hey, we could always use some experience in the relationship. Um, older head, just to uh, older head. That that's that's maybe not the best term. Uh, older head on her shoulders, so that she's wise and can. I'm um, now. I'm giving up. I'm giving up. Ignore that joke. Uh, right, what are we doing? We are. We have a thief somewhere. I've got a feeling he might be over here. Yoo-hoo, thief! Hello there. Pixar! Oh, Pixar! Wait, come on! Why are you doing anything? Alright, murder! Doing good damage every time. Right. Delirium potion. I love how nobody cares. Just spirit shard, a volume of shape of history. Is that what we need? Is that good? Return the tome to the shaper. Okay. My dog has walked into the room. He's laid down for about 20 minutes. Stretched, accidentally shut the door, and is now pining at the door to come out. Hang on, come on, turn around. Percy. You got yourself in there, mate. Stupid dog. <laughs> right, where were we? No, you're stuck in here with me, sorry. Okay, uh, we've got to go to the... Uh, that's in the Diamond District, I think it's called. The Shaperet. So let us pretend that I do, indeed, believe that murder is wrong. We are not having this conversation. Were I to believe such a thing, what would I do with it? Feeling guilt about things one can no longer change seems so very time-consuming, with little hope for actual gain. But you could change what you do in the future. <sighs> what would that require, exactly? It seems to me that feeling guilty would take up a great deal of my time as it is. Perhaps you could save a life instead. One for every life you have taken. <laughs> that is a great many lives to save and feel guilty as well. Perhaps I could do one or the other. It is not a game, Zephyrin. You either know right from wrong, or you do not. I, I am so confused. I think I may cry. May I lay my head in your bosom? He's got Riz. He's got Riz. No. No, you may not. You are so very cruel. How is it that you do not feel guilty? I feel guilty for ever having spoken to you. <laughs> I mean, the guy's got game, but, like, I think that might be a, a game a little bit too beyond his reach. Garen, what have you got? Have you... I'm, I'm, I'm only asking because you never... Let me see you, Wes. Right. Shot coating. We got any... Tome of Dwarven... A uh, Tome of Physical Technique. Uh, use tome gives the reader one point to spend on a talent or skill. It's 19 gold. The Rose's Thorn. I mean, yeah, that's that's what we actually want, isn't it? That's what we want to give to Zevran. 148 gold. Oh, it's so expensive. Where are we getting money from? Because I'm assuming that once we do the lands meet, that's kind of, like... Then we've got to deal with the Darkspawn. And then that'll be the end. Of the hour. Supporters. So Some where the hell do we get cash from? Unless it is designed really not to... Um, you, you don't get all of these things and you're designed to have to pick. Which would be annoying. But I will just power up Zevran. <laughs> like, <laughs> sorry everyone else, including me, but... The assembly. Is that where we wanted to go, or is it down here? Shape wrapped. There we go. Okay, come on. If this is like 20, 30 gold, then... You found it. Yep. Warden, you have my gratitude. You're a bright spot in an otherwise dark time. At least someone is willing to stand up for tradition. Thank you again. Wait. You gave me nothing.
So the quests don't even give you anything. <laughs> right, okay. Shit. Um, nope, that's fine. That's fine. As expected. Oh, God. Is there loose coins on the floor here? Yes, there is. It is begun. Just bones on the floor, decomposing. And I'm just going to steal some silvers from them. Okay, my only hope is to go to Denerim and hope that there's a ton of jobs to do there. All for petty cash. Um, I don't think I can. I get out from here? Can I just? No, I can't. I can travel into the deep Shall roads, which I don't think is going to be that lucrative. But can I go from here? Right, so I think most of the stuff is going to be Denerim. Uh, we've still got to get Ogre. We've got to do uh, individual quests, actually, as well. Maybe our party will give us cold, hard cash in exchange for them. Oh, for God's sake, really? Wait, hang on. Is there a separate world map? Wide open world map. But we can't travel. So, are you a very religious man, Alistair? I'm curious. I believe I heard you say you were raised in an abbey. I was raised in a castle. I was schooled in the abbey. As far as being religious, I don't know. Not especially. What about you? Not in your line of work, I expect. Why do you say that? I happen to be quite devoted in my way, as most Antivans are. Truly? But you kill people for money. And I ask forgiveness for my sins from the Maker every chance I get. What manner of monster do you think I am? But you ask forgiveness and then you go right on <laughs> with your sinning. The Maker has never objected. Why should you? I... I have no idea. Well, there you go. Perhaps you ought to think about asking for a little forgiveness yourself, huh? Nice! I just thought he was saying, oh god, oh god, oh god, every night because of me. But apparently he's bloody religious. Well, I'm not, unfortunately, so uh, it's not going to help you that much in terms of your religious studies, but... So, let's let's have a look. Let's have a look. So, we've got companions. We've got the Sword of the Berasad. Locate Sten's sword. Uh, the Berasad value their swords highly and do not part with them until death. The thought that his sword might, have, might be lost drove Sten into a mindless rage. You told Sten that you would try and track down his sword. Where do I start? <laughs> Kill Flemeth. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Morrigan's still waiting. Um, Wind's regret. Help Wind find closure. Uh, she's passed him. Drove him away from the circle. Anorin spoke often of the Dan Dalish elves and dreamed of finding them. So they, that could be over by the Dalish elves, and maybe he found them. Uh, and that's like Cowden Hand. I like that. It tells me where to go. Oh, God. Uh, love letters. Deals went bad in the market. The warehouse and the pearl get rid of the bodies by dumping them. Oh, uh, right. Okay. There's lots and lots of missions. I'm guessing these are going to give us cash. Uh, I think one of these guys is a shop. Isn't, aren't you like a little market area? No? They've opened the gates. We're free to go in again. Oh, right. Okay. So, none of them are actual shops. I don't know why I'm continuing shopping. I want to buy that dagger for Zevran. And then we can sell the dagger he's got, which should hopefully get a little bit of money back. <laughs> I did not expect to be uh, thrifting in Dragon Age. But, to Denerim. We're going to go to Denerim. We're going to do some um, missions, some little side missions and stuff. And we're going to hopefully get some cold hard cash. Right. So we've got... Oh, there is a Chantry board there, but they, they were giving like one gold. I'm not going to do a whole mission just for one gold. As there is but one world. 
One life, one, one vision. Is, but one God. It shall be done. There are no quests available. Slot off then. Do I have a body? As you say. I don't have a body. So I've got to find a body. Is but one world. I keep thinking she's one saying Alistair is. Uh, Goldana's. Oh, yeah, Goldana's house. Oh, Drake. Drake stuff. We ordered some Drake stuff and we went away and did things. So. You're here about your order? Of course I am. I am very, very pleased to say it's done. And it's garbage. I wouldn't let a festering swine wear it. Wade, it's amazing. I don't see anything wrong with it. Are you blind as well as stupid? The leg guards are too tight. It'll chafe. The die isn't even... Look here. I see a splotch. It's garbage, I say. Perfectionist. <laughs> it's fine. Truly. It's a work of art. Here, wear it well. Now kindly leave. <laughs> okay. Um. Did you bring more scales? I want to try again. I've oh. learned so much. Wade, please leave the customer alone. I have more drink scales. You must be kidding. We're done. No <laughs> more scales. <laughs> I can make another set. Dear Andraste, no. I've been thinking every night about what I'd do different. It's all in my head. Dear Heren, don't worry. I can make it faster this time. You can? You worry too much. Just give me the scales, friend, and I'll have my finest work for you. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm not going to give you money. Here are the scales. I'll just close the shop until he's done. Eh, thank you so much, rotten bastard. <laughs> okay. I mean, the, this is like a gay couple sitcom thing, right? Like, I love it. Uh, right. Wade's Drake skin. Oh. Oh, wow, okay, we got a whole set. Uh, fire resistance. Oh, okay. I mean, it's okay. But all my other stuff gives a bit better stuff. We're closed. Oh, you're on. Yeah, can, we, can I not sell you back the stuff you made? Are they light, light armor? They are light armor, yeah. Okay, well, that's the thing. We'll come back a bit later. And, uh... Yeah, okay, so we're going to get some better Drake skin stuff. Uh, we've got Jenna TVs there, which we've already visited him. Anything in the tavern? Kind of looking for fights at this point. Uh, bartender. What can I get you, stranger? I'd like some illegal stuff, please. Uh, I've accepted all of these already. Okay. Uh, life is normally cheap, but if one of this gets out... Yeah, I mean, I'm willing to go do whatever, so, uh... I'm assuming when we leave Denerim, we can go to the different alleyways and stuff. Well, let's see if that's the case. Uh, there is a... Warehouse. What is in warehouse? Well, I'll take stuff from the warehouse. Hmm. Stuff we can sell, so I'm game. Oh, hang on, is this the place we went to? As um, you say like, murdered us several times over. Body bag? For God's sake, where's the body bag? I won't take the blame for this one. This was bad from the... Thanks. I ain't sticking around to see how this turns out. Yeah, you're just going to give it to me so that I have to dump it in a well. Ugh. I like the fact that it's just we murdered this dude and uh, you need to take care of it. Okay, well, that was a waste of time. What about this trinket shop? It's Wonders of Thetis. Very well. 
some magical items in here. Hello, Tranquil. Welcome to the wonders of Thedas. We carry items crafted by the Circle, as well as a variety of antiquities. Is there anything you would like to see? I'd like to see antiquities. Right, loads of magic stuff. Winter's Breath. Wait, is that what? Winter's Breath Dragon Bone, okay. I mean, if I could sell hers for 31 gold, that'd be amazing. Uh, sell, sell. Oh, I accidentally sold it. I accidentally bought it. Sell that back. <laughs> I did not mean I'm. I'm tapping over the touch screen by accident of the uh, of the laptop. Uh, Tavinta robe, enchanted cat robe of the witch. Reaper's vestments, ninety two gold. 6 con, 20 fire resistant, 16 spell resistant, 10% chance to dodge attacks, and plus 12 armor. I mean, that's pretty solid. Uh, Lend of the Lion. Light gloves, nature damage. Twitch. Ring of Ages, just resistance to everything. Increases experience from Codex. <laughs> Mabari Dog Chain. Some runes. Ancient map of the Imperium. It's an it's a gift. Let's have that. <gasps> Spirit Healer. Are there only two mages in this? Wynn and Morrigan. Hmm. Um sorry, Wade, I'm just flogging all your stuff there. <laughs> I need cash, man. Right. So, we are now going... I mean, that's pretty much everything here. I do have a body to go and dump, which is a weird thing to say. Uh, right. Let's go dump a body. Dwarven crafts. Find dwarven crafts. Key required. What is the key? It is begun. Find better. I need to find out what key that is. Ice arrows. Casually stealing from right in front of them. That's fine. Insufficient... Oh, I'm Alistair. Hang on. Hey, Alistair, why are you stealing stuff? There we go. Crossbow. Oh, I don't want to be Alistair. Nobody wants to be Alistair. Alistair doesn't want to be Alistair. Right. Magic exists to serve man and never... Let's just casually dump this body down a well next to a church. Nice. Right. Okay, I am hopefully now going to get some cash for that. Quest updated. Uh, Denarim... Companions. Did I not get any? Okay. Okay, so we didn't actually get any cash for that, which is just the worst. Um. So I have a question for you, Zeran. You're here, at least in part, to get away from the crows, right? That is indeed true. So when this is over, what do you intend to do with yourself? You can't go back to Antiva, I assume. What I do depends in large part upon your fellow Grey Warden. I am not a free man, as it were. Oh. Yes, yes, but what if you could do whatever you wanted? Why should I go anywhere? You Grey Wardens are the epitome of charm and hospitality. So you do intend to go back to the Crows? I said no such thing. I think I should stay where I am. Ferelden is a marvelous country. Why don't I believe you? <laughs> You're not much of a patriot, are you? Well, I'm not going to listen to such slander of my new home. Off with you, then. Oh, okay. That's interesting. I mean, uh, let's put this this way. I mean, I don't. I think I've had the conversation with him. It's like, you're free, Zebra, and, like, 
under no circumstances are you, like, still under my thumb or anything like that. You can go wherever you'd like. Now, well, here we go. This is what we wanted. Royal Palace. Location of the lands meet. Residents of the current Isle of Denerim. The alienage. The alienage. Can we go to the alienage? It'll be annoying if we can't. Um, there must be so much cash in amongst those poor destitute elves. <laughs> Did you hear? Androste's ashes have been found here in Ferelden too. Yeah, they have. All right. To the alienage. The alienage is closed. Be on your way. Oh. All right. Back from the alienage. Right. We are going to travel to hopefully the uh, the whorehouse, the brothel, the pub. Nope, we're going to an alleyway. <laughs> I don't know if they're still on here because we can still go there. Okay, yeah, we're in the alleyway. That's fine. It shall be done. Notes acquired from the dead or terrified adventurers have directed you to this unassuming door. The house is marked with the initials VM. Vox Machina. There is no answer, although there is clearly a light inside. Hello, I would like to speak with Villon Madon. I'm here to discuss the stories of Gax Kang. I'm not leaving. I don't know who Gax Kang is. Right. Let's continue inside. Now let's just talk things out and see what's going on behind this door. Grey Warden, isn't it? Strange you would force such a visit in a time of blight. I suppose I am used to inspiring a different kind of seeker. Your stories attract them and then they disappear. <laughs> the adequate ones find the beacons and then I find them. But you, you are already brighter than the signal at Ishal. Eyes are on you from a very high vantage, Grey Warden. I cannot hide in your wake, but I will not be a footnote. Witness Gax King! Who the hell's Gax King? Oh! Oh my god! Yep, we witness you, and we run in. Oh my god, that hurt. Come on, come on, come on! Unfreeze! Right. I summon my own Gax Kang. Zebran's dead. I haven't saved for so long. Come on. <laughs> I can't. Bear, come on. Go kill it. Is it healing? Oh my god, how are we going to kill this thing? Don't give them the advantage. I don't think I can run. No! It's coming to punch me! Oh my god. <laughs> right. Let's be interesting about this. So, go to him. He takes a health poultice. No, oh, crap. No, heal yourself, Win. Oh, no, she's going to die. If she dies, it's all over. Right, there we go. Nice. Okay, now we've got the damage dealer. The damage dealer is important. He's still a little bit weaker. Can we stun him? We can't stun him. 
Oh my god, no, Wind's dead. That's very, very bad. Come on. I would love it to compete for points, Zevran. What the hell is my minus? Affliction Hex. Oh! Oh no, 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 no. No, come on! No! Come on, bear. You can bear, come on. Come on. Come on, we can do this. No, the bear's dead. Come on, come on. It's so close. Get up. Get up. Kick him. He's re he resists my kick. I know we're bloody wounded. Come on. Hit him once. As you said. Come, let us end this. Yes! Gex King defeated! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you all suck. You all suck. Gax Kang, the no more. Greater healing potion. A keening blade. Longsword dragon bone with three. That actually might take over Alistair's. A fade wall, heavy shield. Plus three defense, 20% to healing received. That's good. Stamina regen, 25 stamina. That's very good. And a diamond. We can flog a diamond. We can flog a diamond. Right. Come on, you've got to have loads of other stuff in it. There we go. Elementalist's Grasp. Inscribed. Ugh, that's more for a Morrigan. That's all damage, isn't it? An emerald, a quartz, and nine gold. Almost ten. Was it worth it? Yes, of course it was worth it. Never mind the fact that Alistair has a broken bone, Zevran has a cracked skull and a wrenched limb, and Wynn has a cracked skull. It was worth it, because I now have cash. <laughs> so close. Yeah, uh, the problem is with spells, the dex doesn't help against spells. Which is a bit annoying. So a rogue with spell resistance would be very, very good. Um... You didn't see nothing. Is there anything else up here? I don't think there is. Okay. Well, that was one. Well, let's head back and go to another one and see if we can uh, see if we can get some more cash. Um, let's head to that's the deserted building. Dark alley, run down back. Is that where we are? No, it's not. Okay. Let's go to the deserted building and uh, save, for one thing. Save. It's very important to save. For this, if I remember right, this is the one we ran away from. Let's see if we've leveled up enough to... Uh... Oh, if I'd have died in that fight, I would have gone back to the, fr the Frostback Mountains. Okay, we're all injured, apart from me, because I'm amazing. But I shall do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Here comes the wolf. Da 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 da. Okay, we've got a world-class menagerie here. As you say. That was a trap. I can't remember what the boss here was, but I remember it being so difficult we ran away. What was it? Oh, I remember. There's the two doors. Yeah. Alright, let's just see how we do here. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. Yeah, and Alistair's already dead. Like, it's unreal. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do it. Okay. So, we're in. Yeah, and, like, what the hell is this? <laughs> like...
I would love to know what tactics we're supposed to use there. I mean, the only thing I can think of is opening the door, switching to win, and just throwing a fireball in there. But it, oh, it is crazy. Because there, there's two bottlenecks, but we can only really go in one. Uh, yeah, we're not doing that. We're not. We're running away. That's something to do after the Darkspawn. Uh, it's incredibly important that we defeat the Archdemon and then defeat those guys. So, where were we? Hooded Courier. Hello, Hooded Courier. I'm sure you have your own business to attend to. Okay. As you say. It's interesting. Run down back alley. So there's nothing there, but I'm guessing there's a mission we have to pick up, which will take us to the Hooded Courier. And then, yeah, we've already killed these guys. Another Hooded Courier. Hi. Let me be. Let me be, let me be. Well, all right. Dirty hovel. Well, I do like myself a dirty hovel. Let's go in here and sit. Oh. Oh, yeah, we've already done that one. <laughs> okay. So there's nothing there. Do we, I mean, yeah, let's go to the Pearl, see if there's anything extra there. Because I can... I mean, I'll have a go at killing Flemeth, I think. We've got to do that. Um, but I don't know where to... I will take Ogre into Kalanhad, but I don't know where to look for the other guys. Which is an issue. Ludicoria? Hmm. Humph to you too, my friend. Humph to you too. Welcome back. What can I get for you, honey? Um, the men, the woman, some of both surprise me. No. Come again. No, I'm not going to have uh, a surprise again. That surprise is something that I can never, ever unsee. And this is where it all happens, Evren. It was before you were with us, so it doesn't count as cheating. Health poultice and a love letter, we'll take that. I mean, this is just stealing. Like, this, there's no honour in this whatsoever. Uh, the Green Nug flies north for the winter. <laughs> okay, it's worth a shot. Sausage? <laughs> it's worth a shot, <laughs> sausage. Let me in. Yeah, that's fair enough. Right, so there's obviously a password to get in there somehow. Do you know it? I've got nothing to say to you. I think he knows it. What about you? Do you know the password to that place? It shall be done. Are you sure sausage isn't the answer? I'm, I'm fairly certain that sausage is going to be the, uh, the password to get in there. Brazilian outskirts, Brazilian forest, Brazilian ruins. I mean, we've got to go back here to get Ogren. And, uh, yeah, we'll just leave straight away. And Ogren's in his pants. Oh, God. Shit. Um, no, you know what? Sometimes you just got to let your shit breathe. We've got powerful people with you, Ogren, and you're meeting your ex. I'm assuming it's not going to be a fight. Oh, please don't get stopped. Because I'm not sp spending any more money on buying armor. Like, I'm saving money. Until we get like 145 odd. So let's see what we've got for Ogren. You've still got your axe, which is one thing. Oh good, we had literally nothing you can wear. Because you're a two-handed person. Um, What are you? Make her rest the souls of all. Templar and mage... Who gave their lives defending the circle? As you do. Peace. 
landmark boat. It is begun. Your hound seems particularly interested. Well, there you go. Oh, he pissed on the boat. For God's sake. <laughs> uh, you've got points to put in. I want Reaver. How the hell do I get Reaver? Hmm. Alright, he's maxed out Berserker. He's maxed out that. Two-handed swings. Destroyer. Ooh, can't get it yet. Uh, can we go back in here? Let's put the three in there, and then the next time we'll go one, and then two of them. And we'll... Uh... Oh, not gonna... Okay, we're going to level up again in order to get it, so that's fine, actually. Two-handed sweep. Okay. Right. We could all be figments of someone else's imagination. Just players in a play. Exactly. You, I, everything. All a dream. But whose dream? And for whose amusement? Some being of cosmic power. Sublime, enlightened beings. Cosmic <laughs> power? What, you're serious? They thought of all this grit, all the war. They bloody thought of boils. I got a boil the size of your nose on my big toe, and some beings are enjoying this. <sighs> Disturbed, sick bastards, if you ask me. Ahem. I still maintain they're more enlightened than that. If I ever come across one of them, I'll give them a what for. <laughs> they're breaking the fourth wall. I shall do it. No quests. Good to see you again. Well, good to see you again, but you're useless to me. Give me cash. There she is. I'm going to go talk to her. Look, you got to back me up here. Got it? You're in your pants. Okay, no, look, look. I am your wingman, okay? And the job of the wingman is to agree with everything the person says. Like, says, oh, yeah, I uh, tried out for the Olympics. You just got to go, yep. Yeah, you did. Yeah. So, of course. <laughs> Thanks, Warden. Let's go get you laid, my friend. Go get her. Just be ready to pry her off when she throws herself at me. We don't want to make a scene here. Well, don't pry her off me too soon. <laughs> I mean, a little scene's all right. Are you sure you're not a baker? Because you got a sodding nice set of buns. Akron, is that you? You're in your pants, man. In the flesh, baby. <laughs> what are you doing here? Uh, just trying to kick back with a pint. Fighting Darkspawn's a lot of sodding work, you know? You're fighting Darkspawn? Man took on an army of golems almost single-handedly. It was a bit of pain, but it was a personal favor for the King of Orzammar, you understand? <laughs> the whole surface to choose from, and you just happened to come to my tavern? Yeah, well... Uh... What? Oh, right. It's fate, Felsi. What can I say? Fate? The ancestors must have a sense of humor, then. Sure they do. <laughs> You've had a good look at Lady Helmy, haven't you? If her face isn't a joke the ancestors are playing, I'm a Bronto's behind. So, Lady Helmy must be a paragon of beauty, then. Tell her you've been thinking of her. Come on, man, you got game. I've been thinking about you, Felsi. What do you want, Ogren? Rotting. Nothing. Just thought I'd see how you were doing is all. Well, maybe that and grease up the Bronto, if you know what I mean. <laughs> well, you've seen me. You'll have to go back to Orzammar for the Bronto. Uh. We can't waste time here. The Queen is waiting for us. Let's make him really important. Oh, the Queen needed a new fool, did she? Oh, well, it's been fun, Felsi, but I better go. Wait, you're leaving. You just got here. I haven't called you a shaft rat yet. Well, you can't keep the archdemon waiting. You hurt its feelings and might just turn the whole blight around and go home. Nobody wants that. Well, you don't need to fight it right now, do you? I mean, you could have a pint first. You could call me a surly Bronto. <laughs> I could tell you that you smell like nug droppings. I'll tell you what, I got some things I gotta do, but I'll come back for that pint when things are settled, you frigid deep stalker. Fine, but 
you better not keep me waiting, you worthless copper-plated sword cast. Wouldn't dream of it. Okay. Like... I'm not going to say that's a healthy relationship. But, um... Yeah, like... <laughs> sure. Like, that takes negging to a whole new... A whole new world. Uh, Innkeeper, why have you got a mission? Welcome back to the Spoiled Princess. How may I serve you today? I'd like a drink. Of course. What would you like? Firebomb. Uh, have got any gifts? Caddis of the Siege Breaker. Oh, it's literally like a dragon fighting one. 30% resistance. Okay. Uh, you got flasks, which is good for making the, uh... Good for making potions. Um, so what Welcome is... Welcome back to the Spoiled Princess. How may I serve you today? Why is the inn called the Spoiled Princess? It was my father's idea. He ran the inn before me, and he named it for my sister. <laughs> Fair enough. She was his little princess... Princess decided the country was too dull for her and moved to Denerim. More glamorous, she said. Well, she was found murdered, robbed of all the trinkets my father bought her with his hard-earned money. My father died of shock and heartbreak. Oh, my shit. I stopped eating, and I got the struggling in. The name stuck. That's a story. Okay, I should go. Of course. If there's anything I can get you, just let me know. Why have you got a mission over your head? Oh, because I haven't got someone with me. Win, I've got Win with me, so Sten. Can I bring Sten here and... How do you just change your the people in your party? Can you just change them? Oh, I think you have to go all the way to the party camp and come back. So, Sten? Sten? Yes. Hell, why not? Morrigan? Indeed. Liliana? Indeed. Let's, let's, let's go with this team. To Lake Callan had. Let's take you all for a drink. I've barely spoken to you. I'm going to kill one of your mothers. So, uh, <laughs> they can all level up, yeah. Oh, 24 points. Okay, that's that's something. There you go, you've got 37 con now. Uh, and you're a berserker. I think that's fair. Uh, combat tactics. And... Yeah, why not? Berserker. Berserker, berserker, berserker. Two-handed. Nice. Morrigan. Is that your mana pool? Uh, spell power store score. Okay. There you go. Huge mana pool. Huge spell power. And... Oh, I need to buy the book on spirit heal. Can't I just talk to... Win? <laughs> turn him into a blood mage? I'll turn him into an arcane warrior. Uh, yeah, you can do all that. Uh, shapeshifter. Can turn into a flying swarm. I mean, fireball, inferno, like... Let's just get the fireball. Get the heals. And... Death magic. Let's make your basic attack pretty decent as well. Arcane shield. And then Leliana. I, I, I mean... There you go. You're like a ballerina. You're the most dexter dex dexterous, dexterous, dexterous thing in the world. Um, you're a bard. And a jewelish. Why not? Expert stealing. Poison making. You're a bard. Destruction. Duelist. 
Gaining a bonus to attack while the mode is active. Upset balance. Let's just make you an amazing duelist. Rogue. Deadly strike. Combat movement. Stealth. Lethality. Coup de gras. Archery. Was I making her an archer? Whoops. Dual weapon training. Just put one in dual weapon training. There you go. Basically doing cartwheels down a hill. Now. If I'm thinking correct. Sten should be able to talk to this guy. That's a wall. Please. Welcome back to the spoiled princess. How may I serve you today? Uh, really? Of course. If there's anything I can get you, just let me know. Do I have to be Sten? Or was I, am I wrong? Welcome back to the spoiled princess. How may I serve you today? Like a drink? Go on. Welcome back to the spoiled prin princess. My father died of shock and heartbreak. Of course. Nah, I was wrong. Oh well. Back to the drawing board and that, I think. Right. So, now, um, let's ignore that. Why are you praying to everything? Scavenger. Back off! I was here first! Yeah, that's fine. You haven't seen a sword laying. Why? You looking to buy one? Yeah, okay. Only if it's a Kunari blade. Q what? The giants you're pillaging. Oh, them. But to tell the truth, this place was mostly picked clean when I got here. I got part of a glove. The wolves didn't chew too badly, though. I think it was a glove, anyway. <laughs> I know, don't say it. I got cheated. I knew the guy who was here before me. He sold me this spot. Said he found giants and all kind of crazy valuables. He didn't mention that he'd taken everything but the bones and the dirt already. His name's Ferrin. Squirrely little bastard, if you ask me. Which you didn't, but I said it anyway. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, where is he now? He was going to Orzammar, he said. I imagine he's gotten there by now. If you find him, tell him I sent you. It'll scare the piss out of him. Ah. Okay. Uh, well, we're looking for a sword, so yeah, let's... Let's go. <laughs> Back to Orzammar. God's sake. Now... The Frostback Mountains would actually be... That's outside. That's kind of where we want to go, because I'm assuming he's not a dwarf. So he's outside Orzammar. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, no! No, 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 I'm not equipped for this. We must not oh, no. no. No, 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 no. Kill, kill... Oh. Okay, she does actually have daggers, that's fine. Morrigan's got a staff. Tier three. Oh god. Right, come on, come on. Oh my god, that hit me hard. What? Oh, right. I was wondering why Liliana had a... Oh, look at the damage! Oh, no. No! This is not good. I need help. No! Morrigan, run! Run! Um. 
This is a bit awkward. Oh no! Shapeshift! Form of dead. I forgot about the random encounters you can get. <laughs> How long did that put me back? Please not too far. Oh. I can't even remember what we'd done. I think we looked around but didn't really find anything, so we can probably just head back. Uh... Can I just go to... Oh, God, I've got to do Ogren again. Right, come on then. In fact, you know what? No, we'll do that next time. We'll do that next time. As you say. I am in need of killing. Yes. 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 I feel like killing a granny because I feel that's going to be a bit easier than um, walking with a bunch of people that I've never used before. For God's sake. Enough with the random encounters. Okay. Lots of traps as well. Hame, 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 bet. Should be relatively easy. Take a little bit of initial damage, and then we just wear them down. Why haven't you fireballed yet, Win? And now I get free XP undoing all of these. Oh, we could probably sell wolf pelts for a bit as well. Because we're going to get a lot. But yeah, this is all just on the way to... Uh, um, Glemeths. Because Morrigan asked us politely to kill her. So, it's kind of all we really need. Very well. I don't need much pressuring to, to kill people. Um, being with Zevran's be taught me that. It's not me that does it. It's just, you know, it's the person who orders me to do it that's done it. I'm just the, the tool they've used. Also, I feel like Flemeth may have cash. You know, Nan's always put like a fiver in your card. So I feel like that's kind of you know, what, what we're going for here. Whole stack of fivers. Okay. It is begun. It's a nice bit of level XP gain there. Now, where are we at? So. We've got the Keening Blade, which is very cool. Alistair currently has Duncan's Sword. Keening Blade is better. Plus two armor penetration, plus six attack, plus three cold damage. Willpower, cunning... Stamina regen, damage versus darkspawn, and two lots of resistances. This can give three. Uh, it's weird. It's more of a... Um... Traps laid for wolves. Well, that didn't really work, did it? Warning, wolves frequent this area. Um, yeah, so basically it's not... It, we don't want Alistair doing too much damage. We want him attacking... And killing. Uh, attacking and killing. Attacking and uh, taking damage, not dying. Okay. She's standing there. And we're going to wait. We're going to wait because uh, we're going to summon everything we need to kill a granny. Um, she's going to be a shapeshifter. So she... What can... Uh, did I make Win a shapeshifter? I did. Um, spider shape, bear shape, flying swarm. Master shapeshifter. Um, a bear, a Beris Khan. A corrupted spider. In these forms, the shapeshifter also gains overwhelm. Additionally, the flying swarm shape drains health from foes whenever the main swarm inflicts damage. Okay. So, I don't know what a Bearer's Khan is, but I'm guessing that's what we're up against. Doesn't have level on her, but I kind of want to go into Flemeth's hut 
and see what cash she's got. I am vamping because I feel like I need a bet. <laughs> it's just one of those things, you know? You, you just you just know when you know. And hopefully... So Morrigan looked at the grimoire thing and said, Oh yeah, Flemeth kills her daughters. Fair enough. Um, she must die? <laughs> Can we not just, like, out her and then be like... like we know what you're going to do, just make another daughter elsewhere, please. If she's really that powerful, do we have to fight her? Okay. Summon bear. And... It is begun. The fight begins. Can I stun and her? So you return. Yes. Lovely Morrigan has at last found someone willing to dance to her tune. Such enchanting music she plays, wouldn't you say? We know your little secret, Flemeth. <laughs> Which one, I wonder? What has Morrigan told you? Hmm? What little plan has she hatched this time? She knows how you extend your unnatural lifespan. That she does. The question is, do you? Ah, but it is an old, old story. One that Flemeth has heard before, and even told. Let us skip right to the ending, shall we? Do you slay the old wretch as Morrigan bids, or does the tale take a different turn? What do you propose? Morrigan wishes my grimoire. Take it as a trophy. Tell her I am slain. And you think that she'd believe that? We believe what we want to believe. It's all we ever do. And what happens to you? I go. Perhaps I surprise Morrigan one day. Or I may okay. simply watch. I was thinking about it. It would be interesting to see what she does with her freedom. Enlightening, even. Would you give an old woman that? No. <laughs> no, no, I wouldn't. Um, what do I get out of it? <laughs> you get to keep her for a time. Okay, that's so ominous. I would have thought about it. But you've just like, oh no, maybe I'll surprise her one day. No, because then if even if she beats you, she's going to come after me. Uh, no, forget it. Shame. What will it be then? Murder. Now you die. It is a dance poor Flemeth knows well. Let us see if she remembers the steps. Okay. Come. She will earn what she takes. I'd have it no other way. Let's go, bitch. Oh, whoa, no, no. Um, I'll let you go. I'll let you go. What? Why can Morrigan not do this? Holy shit. Um... I mean, I'm, I'm doing pinpricks to it, aren't I? Zevran's dead, Ale Oh, we're not close enough to heal! Shit. Win, you need to get closer, love. Shit. Right. Win. I don't know where Zevran is. Ah, that's not good. Win. Zevran is up there, I think. Right. Now, heal, woman. Heal my Zevran. Right. Shatter. I can't see his... Oh, wow. She is so almost dead. Flemeth. Oh, Zevran's... Alistair! Alistair! Just... 
I'm sorry, you just dropped that so casually. Something on your mind? <laughs> Something on your mind? Yeah, that's that's how I roll. That's just what we do, hey? Jesus, <laughs> Alistair. Yes, me too. And I got the feeling at the end there that it saw us, was aware of us, whatever you want to call it. Could have just been my imagination, I suppose. What do you think? I think you're probably right. You know how some people want to be right all the time? Me, not so much. I guess one thing is certain, at least, isn't it? It's official. This is a blight. Yes. Now, are we not going to talk about the ridiculous move you just did? Like, it flung you 20 feet above its head. And you just slammed back down onto it. That is amazing. Surprised it didn't turn back into Flemeth, but we can kill dragons. Which means I may have to kill Andraste herself in the form of Dragon Zoom. You use the key. Right, come on. Just a mountain of gold. If you were a dragon... Ooh, is she a dragon original? Is she a dragon that shapeshifts, or is she a shapeshifting woman? Very well. A small metal round shield. Wow. Robes of possession. Minus one willpower. Flemeth's Grimoire. Is that it? Where's your hoard? Oh, I need cash. Cash money. Uh, Alright. Back to camp. Come on. Let's go back to camp. Let's give uh, Morrigan her... Uh, her Grimoire. And you know what? I mean, I know it's minus one willpower, but how do they look? Wait, they're the same. They look identical. Oh man, that's a shame. Uh, right. Gift. Flemeth's grimoire. I gift it to you. <gasps> Mother's real grimoire, is it? I am glad you were able to find it after all. My thanks for retrieving it. I shall begin studying it immediately and unlock the power that it holds. Cool. Plus 13. Wow. Okay. Now, what are we at? We're at an hour and a half. Well, it's been a while since i played this, and I really want to keep playing, so... Sorry, guys, for those that don't want longer videos, but uh, they are as long as I kind of have free time. Um, yeah, basically, I, uh, I'm, I'm yes. struggling at the moment, new job, and it's about finding time where you've got the energy and uh, sort of wherewithal to uh, do videos. Yes, yes. Um, so what it means is that there may be a little bit of a longer gap between the videos, uh, but there'll be longer videos. So, I mean, do we have anything else to do? This could be a massive mistake. Do we trigger the lands meet? I think we trigger the lands meet. Oh shit, not before murdering these people. Look, I'm comfortable with anything that is not a choke point with some... Oh, hello. Oh shit, they're dwarves! Oh no! That's a big one. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Wynn. Right, let's get you guys up. Shit. Come on, guys. Let's kill the little ones. Let's free up the dwarves. Oh shit! That dude just threw a rock directly at me. I'll try not to take it personally, but it's hard. Right. As for you... Doom! Stunned. What's scarier than being stunned? Eat my bear! Right. 
No, stop killing the dwarfs. We saved a dwarf. Oh! <laughs> Zevran is so good at killing those things. Okay, so we've got Zevran, who's the Ogre Slayer, and we've got Alistair, who's the Dragon Slayer. Ooh, cash. I Very like well. it when the bad guys carry cash with them. Oh, we have got stuff to sell as well, haven't we? Because we've got, like, diamonds and quartzes and... Maybe I do make a little stop at a shop. You say. Where was that dagger? Was that in... Uh... Oh, crap. Was that in Orzammar? I think it was in Orzammar. Okay. Orzammar has heard your call. We march for you, Warden. I'm glad to hear it, but I'm sorry that every single one of your friends died. Uh, where are we at with this? It's going to take a while to level up anyone, really. Um, so grinding's probably not the uh, the best thing to do with the situation. I actually can't remember where the uh, I can't remember where the uh, all the stuff I wanted to buy was. Right. Don't think there's a shop in here, but it would be good if there was. Right. Let us let us save. Mainly because I don't want to screw myself out of the loyalty sort of missions. I understand you've acquired all the allies you could. That's good. We can call the landsmeet if you are ready. I would prefer not giving Loghain time to consider, but it is up to you. I do not wish to go to Denerim unless you are with me. Yeah. Uh, let's go to Denerim. Excellent. I shall make the arrangements. Let us be off to Denerim, and may the Maker... Watch over us. I may be doing this prematurely. I don't know. Um, if this is triggering like the end game, um, if I've missed a massive, massive chunk, then I probably will go back. Because I don't want to miss much. The but... heart and soul of Ferelden. It was the city of King Kalanhad, the birthplace of Andraste. As stubborn as a Mabari, and as good to have on your side. If we defeat Loghain here, the rest of the nation will follow us. So this is a political I'm thing. calling the lands meet. I've struck the first blow. The advantage for the moment is ours. He will have little choice but to show himself, to oppose us directly. Where he I will strike back at us. Assassinate him? The only question that remains is how soon. Logan, this is an honor that the regent would find time to greet me personally. How could I not welcome a man so important as to call every lord in Ferelden away from his estates while a blight claws at our land? The blight is why I'm here. With Caelan dead, Ferelden must have a king to lead it against the Darkspawn. Ferelden has a strong leader. It's queen. And I lead her armies. Uh, if Honora rules, let her speak for herself. Ah, the Grey Warden recruit. I thought we might meet again. You have my sympathies on what happened to your order. It is unfortunate that they chose to turn against Ferelden. I do not accept the sympathies of deserters and regicides. You should curb your tongue. This is my city and no safe place to speak treason. Don't make me set Zevran on you. There is talk that your illness left you feeble, Eamon. 
Some worry that you may no longer be fit to advise Ferelden. Go punch him. Illness? Why not call your poison by its true name? Not everyone at the Landsmeet will cast aside their loyalties as easily as you and these sycophants. How long you've been gone from court, Eamon? Don't you recognize Rendon Howe, Arl of Amaranthine, and Terran of High Ever? And current Arl of Denerim, oh. after Urien's unfortunate fate at Ostagar. Truly, it is an embarrassment of riches. Ho oh, oh, ho oh, oh. ho! That's the guy from my origin. That's the guy that killed or, or initiated the attack on my family. I demand blood rights. This man murdered my family. You have no rights. Your family surrendered them when I revealed them to be traitors to the king. Oh, I mean, I feel like this is just unbridled rage mixed with Zevran. I am really going to enjoy cutting your throat. You are either very bold or very stupid to threaten the turn before witnesses. Enough, Carthian. This is not the time or place. I had hoped to talk you down from this rash course, Eamon. Our people are frightened. Our king is dead. Our land is under siege. We must be united now if we are to endure this crisis. Your own sister, Queen Rowan, fought tirelessly to see Ferelden restored. But you see her work destroyed? You divide our nation and weaken our efforts against the Blight with your selfish ambitions to the throne. What efforts can there be when you outlaw the Grey Wardens? Like, the Grey Wardens are the ones that can beat a Blight. Kaelin depended on the Grey Warden's prowess against the Darkspawn, and look how well that ended. Let us speak of reality rather than tall tales. Stories will not save us. I cannot forgive what you've done, Loghain. Perhaps the Maker can, but not I. Our people deserve a king of the Theron bloodline. Alistair will be the one to lead us to victory in this blight. Oh, is that all I have to do? <laughs> no pressure. The Emperor of Orlais also thought I could not bring him down. Expect no more mercy than I showed him. There is nothing I would not do for my homeland. Okay. Can I just shoot the Arl there? I'll well, go home. That was bracing. I didn't expect Loghain to show himself quite so soon. There was only three of them. We could have taken him. How killed my family, I can't let him get away with it. I would not ask you to. But bear in mind that he will be well protected by his alliance with Loghain. He always seemed the kind of man who enjoyed kicking stray dogs. I would not have thought Loghain would trust him. We need eyes and ears in the city. Loghain has been here for months. The roots of all his schemes must begin here. The sooner we find them, the better we can turn them to our advantage. Go have a look around, and see what you can turn up. Better yet, Find the nobles who have arrived for the landsmeet. Test the waters. See how many will support us. When you're ready to talk strategy, come upstairs to my sitting room. We can lay out our plans for the landsmeet then. Okay, yeah, sure. So I get to go around a little bit more. Standard bearer. Um, where are we? <laughs> All Eamon's... We're in his house. Denoel Zevra. Oh, is this like a little base? Accommodations are to your liking, Warden. Please let me know if anything is troubling you. Yeah, all my people are here now. This is a nice change from having to sleep <laughs> in the woods, isn't it? Yeah. Something I can help with? Um, what do you know of this place? Denerim is Ferelden's most important city, yes? This is the seat of power, the jewel in the crown of the king. She is Ferelden's heart. Her walls are strong, but within them lies so much beauty, just like the country and the people. Uh, let's talk about something else. Something I can help with? Um, I'd like to talk to you about something. Yes? What's on your mind? No, nope. okay, nothing. That's fine. Zevran. You know, I could get to like this. The last time I came to Denerim, I stayed at an inn so filthy the bedbugs had fleas. 
What say you? Want to discuss something personal? Again? I'm game. I want you to leave. We need to end this. Why can I not go to bed with him? You know, I could get to like this. What say you? We should have a bedroom. Can I respond in poetry? No? Oh, there's literally nothing I can say to him here. Wow. Okay. Um, servant, are you an elf? Denuel is like Abba Fett. Our Lehman needs to show up without notice more often. Uh, maid. Someone in here. Oh, hello, Wynn. This is a nice estate, isn't it? What's on your mind? Uh, that's it fine. Is no trouble. Okay, so there's not a huge amount to say here. But. <laughs> yeah. I got a moment. Sure. Yeah, sure. Uh, actually, never I... mind. All right, then. Like. <laughs> <laughs> you do you, man. You do you. As you say. I'd better not see one speck of black on those loaves, Corella, or it's back to the scullery with you. Feast day fish. Dinner's not ready yet, and don't ask. It'll be served when it's done, and that's that. Now, show out of my kitchen. I love, like, the, the people... Oh, shit. Um... Yes. 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 I love like the uh, the head housemaids in like uh, rich estates because like they still talk like shit to everyone. <laughs> like dinner will be ready in a minute, and it's like they're your masters. It's like there's always that one that is just so good they never get rid of her. She's been in like the family for generations. Right. Uh, so you know, we are. I've heard stories about your circle of the Magi, my dear Win. Is that so? Is it a tight circle? There is a circle in my country, of course, but perhaps things are different here. I visited the Antivan Circle on official crow business once, met a beautiful young apprentice who was very eager for a taste of the outside world. Please, please get to the point. All I wonder is whether the Templars guard the mages here as closely as they do in Antiva. In Antiva, the Templars watch the circle like a jealous husband guarding the chastity of a wanton bride. Interesting metaphor, but yes, it is not too different in Ferelden. And is it also true that when the moon swells to fullness, the mages of the circle gather at the top floor of their tower and naked under the stars make love to each other? What? No. Maker's breath. Oh, I found out recently that it was not true in Antiva and hoped that it oh. would be in Ferelden. Alas. Poor guy, he just wants to know a bit more about Ferelden. Yes. Uh, where are we? Can we go to the alienage? Dwarven craft. Shut up. <laughs> oh, actually, no, you're a shop. No, 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 you don't shut up. Keep talking. Dwarven. Hello. Welcome back. Is there something else you'd like to look at? Uh, show me what you have. Every right. Because I've got stuff to sell. A meteor sword. I mean, that's pretty decent, actually. Chastened Great Maul. Tier 7 Dragonbone Maul with three infusion spots. I mean, that is amazing. Dwarven Massive Armor. Heavy Metal Shield. Backpack. May as well buy that. Right, now let's sell... <clears throat> stuff we don't need. Battle Axe. Any bolts? No. Don't need that, because... Uh, that lump of rocks left. Raid wall. A uh, mage. What does my mage have? She currently has plus 20% fire damage, which is really, really good. No, I'm going to keep that because her, mains, her main spell is fireball. <laughs> her main attacking spell. Uh, we don't really need to sell them. That's all just... A diamond is 75 Come on, I was like 20 gold, surely. Uh, okay, sell the diamond, sell the emerald. Oh, God, it's just basically nothing. Uh, Master Hail Rune, Grandmaster, but there's only two gold. Okay, Dwarven well... Crafts. Yeah, I know. Find Dwarven craft. Let's test whether or not we can go to the alienage. If time has advanced. The alienage is closed. Uh, Be on you. The alienage is closed. Be on your way. So where would we... Where are we going? We need... Oh, hang on. 
Oh, maybe not. So what the hell am I supposed to be doing? Where do I find these, uh, these nobles? Uh, light. The lands meet. Prepare for the lands meet. Uh, choose a new king that will unite. Uh, before you come confront him, keep Eamon informed of your latest exploits. He can usually be found in his sitting room. Oh. Huh. I swear he said, like, go find some... Um... Go find some nobles. See if we can garner any information. Where would we go? I mean, can we go here? Because that's the Arl... Alds estate down here, which we kind of want to go to. And if anyone stops us, we will murder them. Why is there a blackbird just in the middle? Okay. Chest. It has begun. Cash. Um it's oh, a trap. Hello. Look there. A trap. trap. What no 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 it's a trap. no stop right, so trapping. Here is the mighty grey warden at long last. The crows send their greetings once again. So they sent you, Tallison. Or did you volunteer for the job? I volunteered, of course. When I heard that the great Zevran had gone rogue, I simply had to see it for myself. Is that so? Well here I am, in the flesh. You can return with me, Zevran. I know why you did this, and I don't blame you. It's not too late. Come back, and we'll make up a story. Anyone can make a mistake. Um. Interesting that there's no sort of just let Zevran make the choice. I don't want to say he belongs with me now, because that's kind of possessive, but at the same time, could be seen as passion. Zevran belongs with me now. You don't even know who you're talking about, do you? And neither do you, Talison. I'm sorry, my old friend, but the answer is no. I'm not coming back. And you should have stayed in Antiva. Enemies okay, right. <laughs> I'll disarm these. Oh, God. Alistair's already tanked. Oh, Alistair's down. Maybe I should have helped them out in the battle. I'm pretty sure she just killed her. Ah, uh, okay. Summon the bear. Not over yet, because I'm a Grey Warden with a bear. But the bear is dying. Quite rapidly. I don't think I'm going to get this. Nah, I think there's a little too many there. Right, okay. Well, they murdered Zevran. They did what they would... <laughs> Are you sure that Zevran was like a a uh, a good assassin? Because he maybe sucks a little bit. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. We just have to uh, do it a little differently. That's all. I need to get in the fray and stun the yellow assassins. I think we'll have one more go, and then if I fail this, we will come off. But. So yeah, we need to try and find these other nobles. I'm pretty sure he did ask to find these other nobles and see where their allegiances lie. It's a trap. But look there, a cunning trap. It's a trap. Can I? Oh, and so I can't here do is that. the. Yep. So the... I've... You can return with me, Zevran. Of course, I'd no need to be dead first. Not... And I'm not about to let that happen. What? 
You've gone soft. I'm sorry, my old friend, but the answer is no. Right. Resisted the stun. not good. Come on. Kill her at least. Oh, I don't have aim on. That actually could have been the issue. No! God damn it! No, I don't think because they're still up there. I've got these three chasing me. Okay. No, I want one more thing. One more thing. Because there was one thing I did wrong there. I should have uh, immediately got the... Oh, no, you idiot. I didn't have the wolf or the bear up first. I should have got them up first. That adds a little bit more defense. Which means that people can tank hits more. Also, when you're fireballing the wrong people, you're fireballing those up there, when realistically you should be fireballing the main area. Right, so. This won't take long. Oh yeah. So. Tactics on Zevran. We're still kind of using, like, just basic attacks. I don't think he's actually using his abilities. I think. <laughs> Passive, Mark of Death. Uh, Ranger. Momentum. Flurry. Okay, let's put Flurry on there, definitely. Uh, oh, he's got it here. Enemy target has low or medium armor rating. Hmm. Okay, let's just try this. Got everything out. This will be the last go. If we fail this, There's something has gone wrong. So There's a bear. You can return with me, Zen. What? Let's do this. I've stunned him. Oh, shit, I don't want to be Zevran. No. Whoops. Chuck aim on because for some reason I didn't have that. See how easy it is now. Oh god, why are you missing? Why are these assassins so dexterous? Stun Talison. Sorry, my friend. Oh! <laughs> Zephron took his head. Literally. Oh. There it is. Talison is dead. What an ending to that fight. Of the crows. They will assume that I am dead along with Talison. So long as I do not make my presence known to them, they will not seek me out. So what does this mean? I do not know. It seems I have options now, whereas once I had none. I suppose it would be possible for me to leave now if I wished. I could go far away, somewhere where the crows would never find me. I think, however, that I could also stay here. I made an oath to help you, after all. And saving the world seems a worthy task to see through to the end, yes? Uh... 
<laughs> no doubt I'll need your help, you can go if you like. You'd better not leave, I would be sorely put out. Well, we can't have that, can we? I'd best stay lest the consequences become unseemly. Exactly, I'll have a tantrum. Let us return to the task at hand, then. There is still much to be done, yes? Yes, there is, my friend. Uh, I'm sure that these assassins will have been given tons of uh, armor and uh, cash. Assassination is very much a cash business, I find. Let's get some free XP. Yeah, I keep forgetting that very like well. my subclass and Zevran's subclass are ranger. So not having an animal out like, you're not using your subclass at all. You're much weaker than you should be. <laughs> Turns out just having a giant grizzly bear and a dire wolf kind of helps. I shall do it. Very well. I don't want this rubbish. I need cash. Ooh. Cash. And a single arrow. Wow. City map. Cool. So. Now we're going to these. And I'm hoping that they're... I'm assuming I can go up to here. Arl of Denerin's estate. Fort Dracon. I mean, are we not going to kill the seat of Ferelden's rulers and the location of the land's meet? Hmm. Well, I guess that's not where we're supposed to go, but I swear there was a... Find out where the nobles are and, and go see them. Unless they're around the estate like, that we were just in. That could be a thing. <laughs> I've just like walked past all the nobles. I just assumed they wouldn't be staying with us. Uh, deserted building, dark alley, the Pearl, Isle of Redcliffe's estate. Yeah, well, let's go back there and see if we can find some nobles within there. Because we may need to start this land's meet. Oh, for God's sake. Now what? It's not a good sign that... It's not a good look if we're murdering people around the... Uh, around the city that we're supposed to be, like, vying for. Okay. Not seeing anything. Okay. We must not exhaust oh, our supplies. Hello. As you say. Guys? Oh my god. Can I not trigger this? Yes, there we go. Right. Holy shit. Right. It's fine. Murder. Excellent. Okay. That had me worried. I was like, why is never no one coming in to help me? It shall be done. Luckily I think my decks was high enough that they missed a hell of a lot. Okay, well this is a nice assassination trap. Nice to know that we can't even go through the streets well. of our city. Metal kite shield and almost a gold. Ugh, we need so much. Got 147 gold. I mean, realistically, we won 400? Because there's been a whole series of items that are like 100 plus gold. Right. Zevran, Leliana, Wynn, Ogren. Well, there's a whole load up there, I guess.
Are you a noble? Excuse me, I have to dust the Isle's sitting room. Um, what do you do here? I'm a chambermaid, sir. I empty chamber pots and change linens. Now and then I dust, just for variety's sake, you understand? I beg your pardon, sir, but I really can't be seen standing about. The housekeeper will have my head. Good day. Okay, that's fair enough. I still feel really bad how elves are treated in this. Oh. Your room. Morrigan. Sten. Dog. Eamon's study. Alistair. Okay, why is everyone in my room? Hello. Well, I understand why you're in my room. Morrigan, why are you in my room? If one more servant asks if I would like a change of clothes, I will set the house on fire. <laughs> I await your command. <laughs> well, yeah, all right. Well, I'll sign personal. We are hardly alone, so privacy is not an option. It is your question, however. Ask what you will. You're a heartless shrew. <laughs> I love that. Stan, why are you in my room, this man? This is not as defensible as I would like, but it will do. It's a bedroom. You called. Okay. As you wish. Okay. You can be in my room if you want. You right, Percy? He barks happily, wagging his tail. Perfect. Okay. And... Alright. Ah, Warden. I trust you've made yourself comfortable. Yes. Uh, very nice. Good, because it's likely to be your last rest for a while. Is that threat? This is Elena. She's... I am Queen Enora's handmaiden. She sent me here to ask for your help. Or perhaps the young lady prefers to speak for herself. Okay. Uh, why would Enora ask us for help? The Queen. She is in a difficult position. She loved her husband, no? And trusted her father to protect him. When he returns with no king and only dark rumors, what is she to think? She worries, no? But when she tries to speak with him, he does not answer. He tells her not to trouble herself. Okay. Are you saying that the Queen believes Loghain killed Caelan? My Queen suspects she cannot trust her father. And Loghain, he is very subtle, no? But Rent and how he is privy to all the secrets and not so subtle. So she goes to how? A visit from the Queen to the new Isle of Denwin is only a matter of courtesy. And she demands answers. <clears throat> That's crazy. How is a lunatic? He calls her every sort of name, traitor being the kindest, and locks her in a guest room. Ooh, so the Queen is actually locked away. Loghain would allow that? King Caelan was like a son to him, and Loghain left him to die. Does he love Anora more? Who can say? I think her life is in danger. I heard how say she would be a greater ally dead than alive. Especially if her death could be blamed on Arl Eamon. Right. And you you have reason to believe that Loghain would kill his own daughter just to frame e Eamon. We may have no choice but to trust Anora. The Queen is well loved. If Loghain succeeded in pinning her death on me, I'm not sure that's a risk we can afford to take. Alright, what do you propose we do? I have some uniforms. I'll how hire so many new girls every day. A few more will not cause much stir. I will show you to the servants' entrance. We must slip in and out with my queen before anyone is the wiser. I will go ahead to house estate. Meet okay. Me as soon as you can. Okay. That's going to be... Uh... Whoa, 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 where are you going? Oh? I'm glad you decided to help. With Anora's knowledge, we have a far better chance against Logan. Yeah, absolutely right. Um... Do you truly believe Loghain's daughter would turn on him? From Alina's story, he turned against her first. If he truly intends to sacrifice her, I think it would be strong motivation to break the parental bonds. In any event, I would far rather have the opportunity to ask such things of her than simply hear about her murder. If Honora speaks out against Loghain, hers would indeed be one of the most powerful voices of the Landsmeet. Very true. Um... But if I break in, can't they frame me for her murder? No more easily than without you there. There will be none to see it, save those who are already loyal to Logan. True. And given your reputation, Warden, 
I think Logain knows it's safer to carry out his plots far from where you could disrupt them. Okay, uh, I should get going. As you like. My palace is your palace. Very nice. Uh, was there an Alistair in here? There is an Alistair in here. Hello. I haven't been here in a while. They've changed the dining room. <laughs> Something on your mind? No? All good? Okay. Is there anything I can just blatantly steal from here? Ooh, a book. Meditation and Odes to Beads. Very well. What's through here? Ah, a chest. Shall be done. Ash Warrior Axe, that's fine. Some XP. Okay. Well, I don't think there's going to be much else here, but that now gets us to Arleman's estate, which is sort of where I was heading to. Because I assume the nobles are kind of hanging out there. Um, Loghain's not going to uh, just let them wander around wherever they want. Large wooden round shield. Lovely. We'll make a stop off at D in Denerim. Check the shops one last time. Um, we'll do that all next time. And, yeah. I think then, next episode will be about blasting the doors off of uh, Arl Howe's estate. And murderising him for all to see. <laughs> right. So, a little bit of a longer episode again. Um, thank you very much for watching, everyone. I uh, hope we're all having a fantastic time. And uh, stay tuned for next time. See you later.